this tree here you've already seen if I've already posted a previous video but if I haven't then you haven't that's an entrance to a nest and the tree would have been that way as it was vertical it's fallen and it's come off there so the nest would have been up a height or the entrance would have been up a height it's fallen it's landed there so inside there is comb in there and it's not that way fortunately because it would just all collapse like a stack of plates it's that way so it's hanging sideways at the moment and I've chiseled away at that little multi-tool I've cut it out down the side stuck an axe on it split it out and you can get inside so I can get my arm in there and down inside here the bees are back on it now really but down inside there there is corn and there's brood in it this would be a bit awkward to show you really because it would be that way but it actually goes down now and then turns left and it's hollow and it goes down that way as well and this tree is about three feet I would say And the nest is down here on the thermal camera I can see a hot spot down there because the nest is obviously collapsed and it's all going to be in there or that way there's a lot of honey sitting in the bottom of here because that's now a sump where it would have been the walkway or a little corridor going through and around that's now or was just full of honey and sticky stuff and I've taken all that out I've taken out all the dead bees that's nice and clean inside there now and this is the bit of the death I've pulled out the bottom of it. But there's still an incredible amount of bees in there. I had a hive on the top here. Time's getting on. The business manager from the school that's in this, the other side of the woodland there, she came to see me and said, I wouldn't leave that there, the box, this time of night and the location for where we are. So I've taken it down. I'm going to come back tomorrow. There were bees walking into it, but time's obviously getting on now and they don't want to come out or they won't want to come out so tomorrow what I'm going to do all being well I can either I'm going to start with the easiest one first and that's to drill a hole with an auger through here 25 mil hole slide a length of tube up inside attach it to my smoker and at the other end should hopefully be able to smoke the bees out if I can slide that tube up inside the tree and then if I can fill it from the back here yeah, I'll hopefully walk the bees out and then into that box if not chainsaw on the other side and I'll cut out a nice big square before the tree surgeons arrive tomorrow because they'll be arriving with a pest controller and chances are it'll kill them because the guys that were here before were getting stung just trying to tidy this up because there is a path that runs underneath here so the tree obviously needs to be moved the work needs to go on I understand that but what I'd like to do is sleep tomorrow night thinking I've done all I can to help those bees there is another little colony over here now I'm not too sure if this is a second swarm or a swarm, second colony, or if it's part of that first nest. And the bees may have just landed out here. I don't think the queen or a queen is in amongst them because I've had to put them in the box rather than them walk in the box. There are a fair few in there, so I'm just going to take these ones home with me. It'll be an interesting journey. See what happens to those when they settle down properly. I'll stick a couple of extra frames in, but this one is the one that I would really like to get out. Not for any reason other than to saving them, I suppose. They are a natural nest, and I know I do say honeybees aren't the bees that need to be saved but these aren't managed bees this is a wild colony and if I don't get them out 
somebody's gonna come along tomorrow and kill them. <laughs>